What is up guys, it's Harrison and I'm back with another video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to never miss an upload. Now, I'm being a bit silent because I'm at my auntie's house and um, my baby cousin is sleeping, so yeah, I have to be a bit quiet. But um, I was given Archer Hercules as a gift while I picked this out. I was hoping to find Turbo Surprise in S4. It was not there and this is the only one. I don't have the... 13 disc and i don't have hercules but i have extend uh, expand eternal so um yeah so it comes with the regular switch track launcher a hercules h4 stamina attack switch track bay uh two attack one burst three defense four weight three agility and 10 stamina that's pretty good uh power is two um speed is four so just take a look there because i feel like i didn't show you yeah it's a right spin bear and yeah so let's get on with the unboxing now if you watch my videos i would have um there have been times when i have hurt myself unboxing these if you know this is obviously the best part not um yeah the rip cord nothing special and here is the bay weight itself um sorry if this is a really bad video i don't have my tripod because i wasn't expecting to be doing this so got the layer the disc i thought i said that weirdly the disc And the eternal driver and the launcher. I I, really, I like these launchers. Not the best launchers, but they're they're pretty. Well, they are good launchers. Just there are better ones. They're very rapid. Um, let's take this all away. So here we have. So we start off with the thirteen disc. This first released on uh Luna uh. uh Luno L4, uh, the 13 disc, pretty light, um, so it might help with a little bit of stamina, but light is really bad. It's got these two giant blades. It's a pretty cool looking disc, in my opinion. So, yeah. Then um, we have the Eternal Driver. Oh, sorry, this is not the best disc to use, so I recommend not using it. Now we have the Eternal Slingshock Driver. Um, got a free spinning plate, so good life after death. And to put into Slingshock mode, you have to line up these tabs to these points here. And you lift it up. And you have your Slingshock mode. So you can ride the rails. Now, um... Yeah, so you just pop it back in by doing the same step, but pushing it in. Um, pretty pointy tip. Pretty good spring. Now we move on to the Hercule Archer Hercules Lail. This is owned by Hey Geno. Uh, he's like a, a Xander 2.0, but a stamina type version. And instead of being good at karate, he's good at archery. So, um, Hercules... I uh, don't think it's a god, because most bears are based off gods. Um, Hercules, I think, mythology, probably mythology. Um, yeah, so it is an archer with bear skin clothes, lion skin clothes. Um, so, yeah, so the gimmick for this is that when you launch it, these blades will extend... And they'll have more outer force, but when it loses stamina, it will go back in and have some inner, some weight in the center. So, spreads out its weight, and then, um, then put it back into the center. That doesn't really make sense. But, um, I don't have the Takara Tomi one to compare to. This is a very weird, bad, uh, different video. But, um... Yeah, pretty good layer for stamina. I like the design, the nice gold and, um, you know, black 
and the uh, these are bow and arrows just saying so it's kind of like shooting the bow and arrow oh it's kind of like this is the end of the arrow so then it kind of pulls back and then shoots it that's not how it works but it kind of looks like that so we are going to try out the teeth uh, here's the QR code if you need it. So let's try out the teeth. Oh, the slope, sorry. To pop it back in is really hard. Those are really... Those are... They're decent, but really good. So, um, I don't have my stadium with me because... Um, I wasn't expecting to get a, another Beyblade, so, um, yeah, so, Archer Hercules 13 Expand, ex Eternal, sorry, so there's, like, Extend and then Expand, oh, that's a frame, I'm so dumb, <laughs> so, um, yeah, like the Beyblade, um, I wish they had the plate a different color because it was the yellow that got correct, but this plate was a, like a pink, an orange type of color. So, yeah, the 13 disc isn't the best. I recommend changing it to 0, 10, 10 is probably the best decision for changing this because 10 is probably one of the best discs for stamina. And the proof frame with it for good life after death. So you've got the spinning plate for life after death. And then the proof frame for life after death. So then you get a pretty good Beyblade for life after death. I said that like three times. So, um, yeah, that was it for this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I am at 61. Means a lot to me for a channel like mine. Um... So, yeah, leave a like. A uh, like goal would be five likes. Not much, but technically I can do all I can do. Um, click the poll up here if there is one. If there is one, it will be, do you prefer let it rip or go shoot? In my opinion, I prefer go shoot. It's much better than let it rip. Let it rip more of a... Oh, who let rip? Farting wise. So, um... Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.